An Iranian politician has died after contracting the coronavirus as health authorities there reported 21 new deaths over the past 24 hours. It brings the total number of fatalities in Iran to 145, while nearly 6,000 infections have been confirmed across the country. But Iran's mosque authority has postponed all group prayers and gatherings until further notice. Let's go live now to the Iranian capital, Tehran. Al Jazeera Zain Basravi is there. Zain, uh, tell us about some of the challenges, the greatest challenges that are affecting Iranians right now. Well, it has to be said that one of the biggest problems the government is facing while trying to address this, while trying to control the spread, while trying to stop the spread and treat those that have contracted the coronavirus, is getting the public on board with guidance to restrict their movements. And really, that is the compounding problem here in Iran. There are really two tracks here. There is the health ministry trying to control the illness, trying to deal with the spread of this virus, and the economy of the country. And really, if they don't want to bring the country to a standstill, uh, placing mass quarantines on cities and towns, uh, bringing the country to a standstill will definitely hurt the economy. So the government is really caught between what, how to address the health crisis and how to keep the country from bringing, uh, coming to a total standstill. The health ministry, uh, uh, during the public briefing today, said that it is considering severe restrictions on people's travel, on people's movement. That's compounding what they said yesterday, which is that they could use force to keep people from moving between cities, to keep people even from moving inside their own cities. But when you're out on the streets, you see that there are still people going about their day, they're going to work, they're, they're going to their shops, they're opening their doors to customers. And really, that's because Iranians, if they stop working, the economy is already struggling so much that any sort of hit economically to people's uh, home incomes, to their to their, uh, to their uh, income on a daily basis could be catastrophic, and that could create this in instability of a different kind. Uh, the Interior Ministry today, uh, taking a decision that seems to contradict what the health ministry is trying to do, announcing that all government jobs will go back to normal uh, later this week. People will begin working normal hours once again. Uh, this while Khum, the city where this outbreak was first detected, uh, the number of cases there continues to rise. Today, the city is on lockdown as government workers sanitize city streets. And during the health ministry briefing, uh, Mr. Namaki, Said Namaki, said that we are dissatisfied with people who are not heeding government advice. We were forced to tighten quarantines inside cities and towns and prevent people not from those cities and towns from entering certain provinces. He's also asked people to cancel any sort of large ceremonies or weddings during the period of this crisis.